something is happening here um, for whatever reason. It's not supposed to be happening. Okay, okay. Well, that was fun. <laughs> um, I am the Convalescent Soul. Welcome to my channel. Okay. <laughs> we are reading from the Love Your Inner Goddess um, guidebook. Number 18, which reduces to 9. Creatrix. Creatrix. Uh, no subtext on this one. Let's see what the message is, okay? Your soul is a divine creative fire. She wants to break free from what has been and give life to something new. You may experience this as a feeling of restlessness, of being confined, or as a craving for something more than you cannot quite articulate. Your soul doesn't want you to push that new life away. She wants you to embrace it. When you let go, your inhibitions yeah when you let go your inhibitions and freely express yourself stagnant situations will be cleared out by the powerful release of your energy which creates openness let your inner artist out to play in whatever way feels fun raw and honest for you it's time for you to experience something new. Your spiritual guidance is... Dot, dot, dot. You have the need and ability for creative self-expression. I have no idea why I just did dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Maybe that's my creative expression. <laughs> Whether it's your look, your room, your art, your altar, your journal, or your life, you need to be free to let the inspiration within find a way to take shape in the world. Some ideas will come together beautifully straight away, and some will need to be revised or released completely until you feel satisfied by the expression. Your creativity is most powerful and healing when it is true. It is not about someone else getting it or reaching some imaginary standard of perfection or making a million dollars. The universe has a beautiful plan for your life. When we honestly and creatively express ourselves, we are playing with the universe and helping that beautiful plan to unfold. Some people won't understand the creative process the importance <clears throat> of working from inner timing rather than external deadlines or learning to be comfortable in the mess of possibilities before the inspired idea reveals itself to you. They may question your sanity <laughs> or tell you that you aren't living in the real world. You know that the world created from our hearts is more valuable, beautiful, and real than any world created from fear. Creativity is such a gift, and it is worth the price of being different and not always being understood. You are an inspiration. Don't hide your creativity fire away. Let it burn bright and light up the world. Here is your sacred ritual. Do at least three things today that you wouldn't normally do. <laughs> like saying dot, dot, dot in a reading for no reason. Okay. That could be walking backwards for a few moments, mixing up your routine, 
are trying a new exercise or way of sitting. It could be approaching your art or your work in a way that feels more expressive of your soul. Enjoy the liberation of breaking out of patterns, for you are taking a step towards the creative emergence of something new. And that is card 18. Did I say it reduces to a nine if I didn't? For you numerology people, there you have it. <laughs> okay. As always, thank you so much for being here. Much love and blessings.